All the reagents for the tolerance test are set up in the fume hood. We begin by adding one milliliter of silver nitrate into a test tube. Next we add one milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution into the same test tube. This results in a dark precipitate. The third reagent in the preparation of the Tollens reagent is ammonia solution. We add between 1 and 2 milliliters of ammonia into our test tube and shake it really well. With the right amount of ammonia, which is between 1 and 2 milliliters, the precipitate that had formed will slowly dissolve. Once we have a clear solution again, the Tollens reagent is ready. To avoid any confusion in the next step, we label our test tubes before adding the reagents. To the first test tube, we add one milliliter of acetone. To the second test tube, we add one milliliter of propanol. To the third test tube, we add one milliliter of glucose. And then we add one milliliter of the Tollens reagent into each of the three test tubes with acetone, propanol, and glucose. After the addition of the reagent, we give all the test tubes a good shake. And then we put the test tubes into a water bath at 60 degrees for two minutes. To prepare filling solution, we add two milliliters of copper sulfate solution into a test tube. To this test tube, we also add two milliliters of tartrate solution. This will result in a deeply blow solution in our test tube. For this test, we also want to label three test tubes appropriately so we don't confuse them afterwards. We dispense one milliliter of acetone into the first test tube, one milliliter of propanol into the second test tube, and then one milliliter of glucose into the third test tube. We then add filling solution to each of the three test tubes.
After adding the reagent to all three test tubes, we give them a good shake for mixing and then reheat them for two minutes in the water bath at 60 degrees.